everyone. <laughs> what? We just oh, immediately just don't right talk. Okay, really? Don't talk like that. Well, hello. Well, hello. No, that's just gonna get cut out every time. I'm struggling today. The dogs that have breath. Like the smoke kill. We are the Brown family, and we are doing a quick introduction here. Um, <clears throat> we're going to keep this short and sweet. We're not going to do uh, long and boring. Uh, we just want to let you know what you can expect from this group going forward. So uh, as we transition into our new life of living in an RV, um, we're going to be sharing everything that we know, like selling the house, um, the things inside of it, how we're going to educate our children. This, this young man here has ADHD and is one of the most this brilliant creative children i've ever met in my life and we want to make sure that he gets everything he needs i forgot to tell you about we got two dogs we have brutus and bronson brutus and bronson bronson's the one right here who's cramming into my space <laughs> or my space actually my space and brutus, and brutus is behind my mom come on brutus oh he's out well that's the end i guess <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Subscribe for cookies. So part of this journey is going to cover how I deal with my autoimmune disease on the road and get my rheumatoid infusions every six weeks. And V over here has ADHD and he has to see his doctor every three months. I think this is gonna be manageable, but it's going to be a challenge. It really is. That we're going to face and we will work through it. Yeah, so remote learning um, how do you stay well physically fit educate your children so part of our philosophy in all this is that we've done pretty well for ourselves we're not the Rockefellers but we have uh, done well in the rat race and that um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that um, we've just decided how we spend our time how we raise our kids um, is going to be a little bit different so instead of rooting down here where we're from in Dallas uh, Texas is where we're going to root down. We're going to travel around and raise our kids differently, and it's going to be awesome. Action! And now the dogs are gone because they were barking, barking at everyone. You know, raising two kids in the suburbs in a school that you go to every day in routine while you're at work, and then you add a pandemic, that presents its own challenges. You become a robot. Kind of. You actually become a robot. You do the same things every day. It's actually kind of annoying. One of the um, things that I think that you should talk about is the, the what what flipped your switch. What what was your sign on doing this? Was that Coraline show? I think that's a really good story. Okay. We were watching a movie one night on a Friday night with the kids. And if you've ever seen the movie Coraline, both of the parents have the daughter, but they're both very busy and they're too busy for Coraline and the dad spends all of his time in his office cl clickety clacking away. It seemed like you, you keep like click, click clack, clack. Click, 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 always click, working, click, always click, busy, click, always click, in front of the click, computer, click. looking tired all the time, bags under my eyes, drinking coffee just to stay awake. Super nice guy when he turns around, but uh, you know, he, he didn't look well and he's not paying any attention to his, his daughter. And it clicked for me when oh, Holly. Oh, Coraline. It really clicked for me when Polly said, "Hey, Dad, that's you." I knew that. I knew that there had to be um, a change somewhere My along team. the line. So, what are you excited about being out on the road? How does that change things? No, um, spending time with my family and going. To New places. Maybe. I've been taught by my parents. Especially Florida. I've been wanting to go to Florida. Which part, mainly? Beaches. The beaches. Even I want to go to that place where there's like lots of dinosaur fossils. Okay. I, um, I would like to meet new people and go places that I've never been. Like, okay. So that's it. That's our philosophy. We're, uh, we're hitting the road this summer. There's going to be a ton of information. Everything that we have. If we think that it's relevant, yeah. you can... Uh, maybe learn something from it. We'll we'll put it on YouTube, and we're doing social media, and uh, we're we just we found a lot of inspiring families out there already. Um, you know who you are. They have tons of followers. They taught us a lot. 
we found a lot of people that have given free information um, just to make sure that uh, it's getting out there and they've inspired us to do the same so we're right behind you we're on our way out uh, we're making the jump and we look forward to seeing you all soon all right hey see you later see ya bye I didn't buy see you later, people. Oh, we're in three, two, one. one.